I have to say one of the most rewarding things of teaching underrepresented writers or people of color um, is that students are often, their, their views change or their views are affected, their views about race, their views about ethnicity. Um, and so just on that level, it's just, it's, it's, it's fascinating to me to watch a student sort of grow, but within this context of studying this particular area. I have a, um, a student who I'm still in touch with, um, an African-American student who took my Intro to African-American Lit GUR years ago. And she told me uh, that when she first sat in on the class, when she first took my class and we were reading James Baldwin and Langston Hughes and Toni Morrison and, and we talked about the civil rights movement and black nationalism and, and she told me that she was really angry at me, that she, she didn't like me. Um, and I asked her why, and she said, well, it wasn't that I didn't like you, it's just that as a black woman, I wasn't prepared to confront this. I, I had never had, I'd never been asked to engage questions with questions of race and ethnicity um, on, you know, it's such a close, intimate level. Um, and she felt at first sort of put off by it and frustrated, but then she started to realize that what she was, was angry about, and this is what she told me, is that um, that nobody had ever pushed her to think about it before, and she was already 20-something. So this is a student who would then go on. She took, I think, after that, three, three more classes of mine, um, and she's now at the University of Chicago pursuing a degree in black studies. So she's, you know, I mean, when, when something like, like that happens, it's, it's incredibly rewarding, very humbling, and it also just kind of affirms for me that this kind of material is, is incredibly important, especially for students of color. That is really fundamentally the most rewarding thing is when I get, when I have students of color who are actively seeking out my classes because they want to learn, you know, about themselves, where they come from, who their what their parents went through, um, and that I, that's just unbelievably rewarding, and it's it's great, and it's also you know it's also rewarding to to work with students who aren't familiar with the material and who have never thought about race because they themselves don't identify as being someone of color. Um, it's, it's rewarding to realize or to sort of watch them also encounter the material, wrestle with it for a while, engage with it critically through writing and research, and then come out of the class, you know, I know that, they're, that they've learned something and that, that they wouldn't have, you know, not only would they not know who James Baldwin was or Tomas Rivera was, but they'll, also, they, they'll report things like about history that they didn't realize you know, happened or that they, they hadn't thought about a particular issue or they'll, you know, they'll, they'll realize, wow, the stuff that Phyllis Wheatley was talking about in the 18th century is continuing to be, to emerge in like t contemporary American race politics or, you know, questions about race. So that's just the, it's just unbelievably rewarding to see that. So I have a student who, um, she's, she was a design major and she took my intro to Chicano Lit um, last year and she was so inspired by, there was a segment of the class on visual art, um, on paintings from, um, from the 1960s and 70s during the civil rights movement and she was so inspired by it that she started to work on um, sculptures that sort of reflected some of the stuff she was, or sort of articulated some of the stuff we were studying in class. And she ended up um, featuring some of it at, at Art Walk in downtown Bellingham. Um, and so I went, I got to go and, and see her art and listen to her explain what the, what the pieces represented and how they were coming out of a class that was on, you know, Latino literature and culture. And so I'll have student, like, students like that whose art is affected or who you know, act, actively sort of express what they're learning through their art, which is really rewarding too.